The wife of a mobilized Russian complains that he disappeared after being sent to the Kursk region. She contacted Russian media, stating that her husband was in Kamenka, 18 kilometers from St. Petersburg, refusing to return to the war. The Russian woman told the Astra publication that her husband had previously been wounded, was covered in shrapnel and had difficulty walking, so he decided not to return to the front and wrote a refusal. No one was going to let the occupier refuse Nick go home. Doctors told him directly at the commission that he was category B, but they would put him in A, saying, go fight if you have arms and legs. The soldier acted recklessly, leaving his military unit without permission, for which he was arrested and supposed to go to trial in September. We decided that prison was better than all this. The occupier's wife admitted to the media. The Russian army command did not like the adventurous plans of the soldier who refused military service. He, along with 150 other soldiers, was sent by plane to the Kursk region. Already at the training ground in the Kursk region, the commanders were more familiar with the situation and the power of the Ukrainian armed forces offensive, giving the arriving occupiers the most valuable advice in their lives. If you can run, run, the officers emphasized. 37 occupying soldiers took the advice and fled, wearing bulletproof vests and carrying machine guns, but were caught by military police. The soldier in question was shocked in the neck with a stun gun and another occupier was tied to a pole. Then the objectors were sent to the Shebekinsky district of the Belgorod region, after which he stopped communicating. The drones of Great Britain played a key role in the advance of the Ukrainian army in the Kursk region. The Sunday Times reported this. According to the Sunday Times, the British government under the leadership of Keir Starmer deliberately decided not to hide the fact that it was supplying weapons to the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region, reports. The newspaper notes that last week Starmer and Defense Secretary John Healy decided not so much to change the policy of supporting Ukraine as to change the tone and more openly recognize the degree of British involvement. An example is the fact that British Challenger 2 tanks are being used in the offensive. There won't be shying away from the idea of British weapons being used in Russia as part of Ukraine's defense. We don't want any uncertainty or nervousness over Britain's support at this critical moment and a half-hearted or uncertain response might have indicated that. We should be proud that we've donated a kit that is helping Ukraine in their defense, the newspaper quoted a British government source as saying. British politicians believe that this will convince allies to help Ukraine more. In addition, it will make the British public realize that the country's security and economic well-being depend on events on the battlefield. The Sunday Times notes that tanks are not the only British weapon used by the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region. The Ukrainian military also uses drones, but their type is not specified. Previously, the use of Malloy drones was known. They are not combat drones but are intended to provide troops or evacuate military personnel. Доброго здоров'я! Слава Україні! Героям слава надо відповідати! Ви місцеві всі мешканці? Не розумієте язик наш? І що? І що не розумієте? Я зрозумів. Ну, ми, ми, ми вас чудово розуміємо. Що, все нормально? Все хватає? Ніхто не обіжає? Що, що? Я не знаю, хто такий Віталік. Ніхто не обіжає, все достатньо вам. Да? Як ви раді українців бачите чи ні? Ну, поки ви. Саме головне. Зрівняти з тим, як, як ваші військові зайшли в Бучу і Ріпень, я вам хочу сказати, то саме головне пити, їсти є все, да? Вообще хорошо, да?
Ні, питання має, дивіться, я перед, перед вами без зброї стою, щоб, ну, а то там роздувають, що ми вас тут катуємо в суд же, розумієте? Ні, оце ваші, ваші новини преподносять, ну да, преподносять, що ми вас тут вбиваємо.